All right, ladies and gentlemen, so in this video, we're going to be unboxing the Oculus here by Facebook. It requires a Facebook account. It comes in this nice long box, probably less than 10 pounds, but it's solid. A couple of games that you could download in the back. And we're gonna find out why this is taken off. Now, first of all, there's a little tab here on the back. So when you pull that, it automatically starts turning your plastic. So you can leave your Bowie knife at home. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you can leave your Bowie knife at home, but we're gonna pop off the plastic. And hopefully this isn't into the ocean because we do not want the plastic in the ocean for many reasons. Um, I wish we could recycle all the plastics like that. And it looks like you're just going to slide this thing out. Now this is where it's really tricky. Because this is a really, really tight fit. And it just wants to slide right on out of this little sheet. I could peel it off and make the box, but I've got 30 days to return this to Target. So I'm literally just going to try to... Oh, I don't know, you know? <clears throat> box, there we go. Got the slippery... Slope action. So now I can take my sleeve, set it back here. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and flip the lid. So take a look in there. This is what it looks like inside. Wow, very nice, very nice, very nice looking box for this thing. So we're gonna go with this first. Go ahead and flip that lid back closed. I'm gonna use this as a bench here, and we're gonna see what's in this little plastic box. It has an O. Those for Oculus, right? And pop that out. Boom, instructions, charging cable, dual USB-C ports, the USB-C base plug. This is all the new trend right now. Of course, they're gonna have USB-C. It just seems to be always changing, it's so trendy. A couple months, it's gonna be a new plug and we're gonna have to buy all new Oculuses, okay? And we're gonna be out of another $300, okay? That is how tech is pushing things forward to try to get us to spend our money. And uh, a lot of us see it as a waste of money, and some of us don't. But here we are. My plug is ready to go. Plug it in there. Plug into the wall. Luckily, we've got generator, so if the power goes out, it'll automatically go to the generators. Okay. Next in this little box is this. These are your handy dandy instructions. There's actually two booklets here. One's a little thicker than the other one. One is a reference guide, a quote unquote reference guide. We'll go over that later. The other one is Oculus Quest 2. That's the version this is warranty information and blah, blah, blah. So we'll set those aside. This sleeve is so pretty. I think I'll just put it right back in that sleeve and just save that for later. And um, who knows? In fact, I'm gonna put it right back in the box. Why am I doing this this time? Because if I return it, I wanna have all my boxes look really good. I'm not going to return it, but it would be trashed. And then hopefully I won't wanna return it, okay? So, back to the mystery chest here. Okay, we're gonna look inside. I want to smile while I'm talking here. And I'm gonna note that there are controllers. They do have this little like thing for your wrist, you don't drop them. They've got a thumb button right there, a finger button right there. So you can actually use that as a trigger. Thumb button right there. And then inside they've got an A and a B. A is close, B is farther away, and a joystick. So you really got one, two, three, four controls plus a button. So five plus the joystick. So five buttons plus a joystick on both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna set that back in there and let's take a look at this actual headset now. All right, so in the headset, first of all, we've got this, which is probably the case or something. Let's see. Wow, look at that, what is this on the bottom? Ooh, fancy. It's like a rubber seal for underwater use. Oh, look, I don't know what that's for. It says silicone cover. Oh, very interesting. So we'll set that back in there. This is uh, your glasses spacer. So if you need an extra spacer to wear glasses, that's what that device is. Get your silicone cover, and then you've got the actual headset right here. Um, I saw an unboxing video before I bought this. Move lenses left or right to find the clearest view. So the lenses are mobile. You can move them left or right. There's a little bit of plastic you can take off of there. And then they say that you may have to loosen up this to get the right fit. So let's see what happens. I'm a little nervous. Try this thing on here. I'm taking off my plastic right there. I've got this right there. Okay. This chest out of the way so you can see what's going on here. And then I'm putting it on and I see absolutely nothing. It's totally black, so probably just not on yet. But there's a little plastic tab here to pull off all these little protective layers. It's almost like doing an apple. You gotta have everything little protected layer of everything. Make it all pretty. Fancy factory, probably somewhere in China, I don't know. Um, charging port is right there, it looks like. Might be an LED light, I'm not sure. 
this is an on off button, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, and it turned on. Okay, so it's blue and white, and then I can put it on. Now, I see like just a little bit of white blue. Oh, I see three dots in the middle. Whoa, it's turning white. Whoa, 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 this is crazy. Now I can actually see what to do with my headset. So I'm gonna grab my headset. And what it's telling me to do is there's a tab somewhere. I feel it. Wait, hold on. Yes, I can feel the tab. So I'm pulling that tab just like it says to do. One, I'm gonna do the other one. Oh, oh my gosh, I think popped on automatically. That's so cool. Literally, I have a, I have like a working headset and I'll put the tab on the other one. Don't do that in the box. And it literally is like a gun that has like a target whichever way you point it. So now I can click to the next screen. I'm literally fogging up my glasses. It's so hot in here. I can do English, Deutsch, some other weird languages that I don't know. I can put my wrist leashes on so I don't drop it. Whoa, a chick just walked on my screen. She says, check the clarity. She says, adjust the headset on your face until you can see the screen clearly. Okay, done that. What about fog, There's fogging issues? Somebody that generates a lot of heat like me. It's clear to me. But now it's saying you can go inside and move your eyepieces out and they move together. Adjust lens spacing if needed. If the screen is blurry, remove your headset. All right, fine, I'm removing the headset. I'm gonna try this just for your viewing pleasure. So look, what it says to do is you go like that. It doesn't do much, does it? Oh, there we go. So for those of you with wider eyes, it's supposed to be a sign of beauty, right? Wide eyes. I don't think I have that. I'm not too narrow. Okay. So there. Okay. Cool. I think this looks fine. I think I do think I'm fogging in a little bit. So I don't know to make that, but let's try one more time. Okay. Just lens spacing if needed. Did that. Okay. I'm gonna hit the continue button here. My trigger. And this is really awesome. Okay. Wow. I feel really empowered. Please stay seated for setup. Find a seat with space to move your arms about before continuing. Can I move my arms from here? Can I continue? Searching for Wi-Fi networks. Okay, here we go. Do that one. Obtaining IP address. So this is like right out of the box, ready to go. I haven't charged it or done anything. Wow, it's beautiful out here. Literally. There's like balls floating in the air and it's orange to purple. Graphics are amazing. It's very cool. Okay. My connection is not private. Okay. What do I do? Learn more. Close all. Enter private mode. Let's try entering private mode. Private mode. Oculus browser won't say. Still be visible to websites. So basically, I'm seeing an internet virtual screen here. Definitely kind of cool. Alright. So. Now what? Tab. I can actually click a new tab here. Let's try it. Close the tab. Oh! So, one more. The site can't be reached, it says. We're on details. Check any cables or radio routers with the bottom networks. Reload. Okay. Try going back to private mode again. Search a website here. Wow, give me a keyboard I can point to my letters at. So let's try Google G O O G L E dot C O. Boy, you gotta learn to be accurate with this thing. It's like shooting that. All right, so I just went to www.google.com. Again, it says my connection is not private. Attackers, blah blah blah. I can click learn more back to safety or advanced. I'm gonna to proceed to this government IHS website here. Now I gotta do the agreement. So let's try scrolling down. Oh, that is cool. So I scroll down with my thumb lever. Now I can use all your regular network services, but again, since it's not private. So again, I'm going to advance. I'm just trying this all again. Proceed. Oh, I'm at Google. Cool. All right, so now what do I do? Trending searches, blah, 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 blah. 
I literally have no idea what to do. I'm gonna go to Google Images. I'm just surfing the web in here. Save your password. No, I'm not gonna send it to Google right now. I'm going to search for something. I'm going to search for, I'm gonna search for starfish, S, T, A, R, F, I, S, H, and I'm gonna go, huh, oh, hit the search button, okay. Wow, I've got pictures of starfish, that is so cool, just like you would search on the web. So what it is, it's a slightly curved screen, but you have pointers, you can touch anything with them. You can click these things, you can go to Wiktionary, enlarge the picture. Literally just like being on the internet here. Only it's not private because of that. Okay. So I can visit that website. It's just like being on the internet. So how do I get to playing a game? That's my question. Does anybody know? Enter in the comments if you know how to play a game on this thing. Okay, I'm gonna pop this off. Now that I've got it set up correctly, very excited about this. I'm going to turn it off. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. And I'm gonna charge it up and then I'm gonna try the Oculus app and see if I can find the games. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. <laughs> Have a nice day.